Surprise, I moved. It was super impulsive last minute. Our lease was ending and we were like, I feel like this is echoing really bad actually. So our lease was ending and we were like, what is the most stressful thing that we can do with a baby? Move. We outgrew our other apartment because it was a one bed, one bath. So now we are in a two bed, two bath. So I have an office because technically this will be Fern's room, but she is sleeping with us still in the other bedroom. So I'm gonna make this little corner over here my office. So today we're going to unpack my DVD collection so I can get set up so I can get back to work and back to filming normal videos. I know I just did a DVD collection like three months ago while I was on maternity leave. Um, I was still pregnant in that video actually, um, but we're gonna do another video. We're gonna unpack it because it is going to change the orientation, all the shelving. I'm reorganizing my entire collection and re alphabetizing and everything because I was outgrowing the system that I had. Anyway, it doesn't matter. You'll see. I just thought I'd make for a fun vlog, you know, come along with me to unpack my office room. I don't know. So rapid fire explanation about why I collect DVDs and usually secondhand ones uh, because I get asked in every single video that I show my collection or, you know, just in general. One, nostalgia, two, cost, three, sustainability. Speaking of sustainability, this video I'm actually partnering with Native. Now I've been a user and a fan of Native for years. They are hands down my favorite cruelty-free deodorant. I am cruelty-free in case you didn't know. They're also aluminum-free, paraben-free, and vegan. And when I thought they couldn't get any better, they now offer plastic-free packaging. It's their same formula, just in more sustainable packaging. Native has always been my favorite deodorant texture and scents. They're not sticky and they feel dry when you're applying them. Speaking of scents, this one is hands down my favorite. This is what I smell like all the time. I have their body wash in this scent as well. This is lilac and white tea. Also, I love lavender and rose if you're into more florals or cucumber and mint is also a really fresh scent. Native is also a proud partner of 1% for the planet. So 1% of all sales of their plastic free deodorants go to environmental nonprofits. They're always releasing new scent collections such as their newest scent collection which is candy shop with scents inspired by your favorite sweets such as cinnamon hearts gubby bears and this one which is strawberry and vanilla taffy this is their body wash make sure to use my link in the description down below and use my code possess2 for 20 percent off of your first order with native this offer is available site-wide but it is for a limited time so make sure you stock up okay so the first thing we're gonna do is i'm gonna show you what we're working with all the boxes down here of my 400 dvds we're gonna do the configuration first because i'm not sure what layout to really do in this filming corner. Okay, so as you can see, we have all these boxes filled with my collection. I also have some over there because I had to unpack in order to use a box. And then we have the shelving for my DVD units. I will link these down below. So what I'm thinking is I could either do all four shelves along this wall and just film against that, or I can do two shelves on this wall, two shelves on this wall, and kind of film in the corner and utilize the corner situation. Um, because the lighting might be better that way. I'm not sure, so we're gonna try out both and then see which one I like best, because I don't know if all four shelves are gonna fit here. Option number one. That's option number one. It is very satisfying to have it this way, but I feel like the lighting might be thrown off with how much is coming through there. So if I ever put curtains on this window, it's gonna be kind of interfering there. So let me try the other way with them in the corner. Plus there's an outlet behind here and I'd really like to utilize that for my lighting, which we'll also configure in this video. So let's try option number two. I kind of hate that as well. What am I gonna do? Why is that the only outlet over here? There's another one like way over here and then there's one over there like on the other window. The outlet situation is not ideal for my filming location. So that's fun, but you know what? That's why they make extension cords. So we'll just, we'll figure that out a little bit later. So I kind of liked all four on the one wall. I think I'm just gonna have to go with that. If I put curtains on that window, we're gonna figure it out later. Um, but for now, I think that's gonna be the move. I thought this would work and then I put my filming chair right here. Let me, let me experiment with that. Let me do that. Oh. You know what I'm saying? This looks really bad. I don't like it. We're going back to four along the wall. Let's move those back. <laughs> yeah, I think that's just gonna be way better. This will be really good. I like this one. So let's put in the shelving. Here we have a nice little bowl of little things to put the shelves in. ASMR. That's horrendous ASMR. The fact I didn't lose any of those in the move is astounding to me. Now it's time for the shelves. OK, 
Okay, shelves are in and we can get to unpacking. Now I have a new organization system that I'm gonna do for all of my movies. So basically the top rows all across are gonna be horror. All alphabetized, all mixed together, and then whatever is left, like all of my space dramas, my dystopian, my Disney movies or animated movies, video games, Ryan's movies, they'll all be on the bottom half. That's what we're gonna do. I used to have like space movies up in here. I don't know if you guys remember that from the other video. You can go check that out if you wanna know more details about my collection. I'm really not gonna go into that. But first, I just feel like placing my lovely Pothos back in its home. It's gonna be so much happier here with all this natural lighting coming in. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the next step is to find the beginning of the alphabet, I guess, of my horror movies. S is not gonna be in there. These are not horror. Uh, these are also not horror. Those can go to the side. Oh, I see some A's here. Okay, this is gonna be the beginning, although they are completely all mixed up in all these boxes, I figured I would just figure it out when I moved in. So we're gonna start with this one. I guess numbers would come first before A's. <laughs> start making little piles over here. So we got numbers. These are all the A's. I think those are all the A's. Would Melancholia be a horror movie to you? I got a lot of C's. There are a lot of C movies. Did you know that? Starting with the numbers. Next are the A's, which I do need to alphabetize really quickly. Next we have the B's. I think these might be actually in order, which they are. That's very convenient. Obviously there's not enough space. So I think we're gonna keep going like horizontally here. Look how many C movies I have. Very satisfying that that was exactly two shelves. Okay, back to the boxes. Let's find the D's and beyond. This is the current situation. Those look like the end of the alphabet, um, middle-ish. So I think D's are still down here somewhere. Okay, so these are like non-horror movies. So they're definitely not going to be in here. Over here, beside the treadmill, I do have District 9, which arguably is a horror movie, so I will bring that on over. Um, otherwise, these are not next in the alphabet. Where are the Ds? Where would they be? Okay, so this has Fs in here as well. I found them. I was really trying to avoid this from happening, but I just found a couple C's. So we're gonna have to move everything over. And yes, that's what I do every time I get a new movie. I have to reorganize the entire thing. <laughs> I completely forgot about these, so we have to put these in the mix. Oh, wait, I haven't done L yet. L's are right here, actually. Which, luckily, the fly is gonna go right there, and then fourth kind right there. Cool, this will hold two more. Okay, I think these are all M's and N's and whatnot. These are all L's, H, or I's. And then I pulled all of the H's out. I think this is going to be all the H's that I have. Okay, next up, eyes. So let's grab all of these. Are these eyes? We do have some eyes here. Let's grab. And then I'm just double checking these boxes to make sure that there aren't some random 
letters in here. Fern's awake. She woke up from her nap. She's down there with her crinkly book, so you can hear her little crinkles. Sorry about that. So it happened. Do you remember this little stack down here? Remember that? That stack? There's some A's in it. So all this is gonna have to shift. It's actually not that hard. I'll show you. Yep, we got Annihilation. We got Event Horizon. So there's E's in there too. So yeah, we gotta pull those out. Add them to the shelf. I'm also gonna get rid of Apollo 18 because if you remember from my DVD collection, that is empty. And I don't think I even have that anywhere. Also at the bottom of that stack was bodies, bodies, bodies. So we have a bunch of letters everywhere. So let's show you the technique to shift everything over. So let's start with Annihilation. Obviously this needs to go right in, in between these guys. So all you have to do is take one from each. So I'll shove this in there now. And then you take the last one, you're gonna shift that over. So it's not that difficult because you're just literally just taking the, the last one on the other shelf and then putting the last one on the previous shelf in the beginning, obviously. So you're really only moving like 10 DVDs at most. But we also have bodies, so we gotta put this in here. And then if you gotta move a big chunk, like I have three movies that are gonna have to go, you just take the last three, you know? It's really not that frustrating. Okay. Now we're looking for L's, which I think is going to be most of these. There's some M's in here. And then I think these are all the L's that I own. Okay, need to make sure that goes in with the ends. So we finished a box. I'm really happy with that. And we have like, 10 more to go, not really. So I feel like this video is just getting very repetitive though. So maybe I'll just speed run through a couple letters. You get the drill by now. Okay, I did some organizing. These are all non-horrors. I pulled out a bunch of S's and then I realized that <laughs> probably most of this box is S as well and some T's. So this is gonna be the main box I'm working from, but let's put away those ones. <laughs> Fern's having a great time watching your mom put away DVDs. <laughs> I just finished all of the horror movies. I have almost three full shelves, unless I find some other ones in these boxes, which there's Pepe. I don't think I will. I went through here and there's some like thrillers, but I'm gonna put those in non-horror, which will be all of those, but I have room for growth and I had some empty shelves before I moved. So if I need to expand my horror collection, I could, you know, move them on down. It's looking really good. I love that it's just consistent, like the top three, Shelves are just all of my horror movies. So instead of just going on, let's take a little break from like adding the DVDs to the collection because those are all non-horrors. You care a little bit less about those. What I wanna do with you for the rest of the video is decorate the top part of this. And I'm gonna be doing some other things uh, like adding some art above it, I think. I think would look really good because I have some wall space. But this is all of the decor that I had on top of there before the move. So these are all like old movie tickets. Uh, that's not decor, that's just, that goes on the shelf like down here. We have like a little midsummer candle and my barbarian water bottle, necessary. So what I wanna do is like decorate this with you guys. Look at that, so cute. And then hopefully get some art up or something, which it might have to be a two day, this is a two day project 
for sure because I have to tend to fern and stuff and so I've been filming this all day technically and so I need to finish this up tomorrow as far as like adding stuff but let's just add some throw some stuff up there and then tomorrow we'll play with art the non-horror and some lighting we want to have some cool lighting this piece will still always be one of my favorite things that I got in PR. It's a little dusty, don't mind the dust, but an old time turner. This is magnets. These are magnets. So freaking cool. Now I actually have at the old place, I need to bring them over, a bunch of horror posters and I would love to get a couple of them framed. I don't even remember which ones I have because I bought them probably, yeah, over 10 years ago I purchased them. And I've just kept them ever since. I do have a Halloween Kills one, I know, which would be controversial to frame and hang, but you know, that's my life. Um, but also this wall over here, I thought would be cool if I did like some framed posters so that way I could switch up the filming angle. I could film from this side, some cool lighting on the posters, the some of my collection. I could film straight on the collection, of course. So far, I'm really loving how it's coming together. And I know it looks the same as the old place, but when you see it in the room, like once the room is done, it's gonna look so good. And I love just having them not in the living room anymore. <laughs> we'll look at the art tomorrow and see what I have and what I can buy like for frames and things and put up here. Um, I might not be able to do that in time for this video to go live. Um, but it'll be a work in progress. Eventually, if you watch this video, you'll see me post a video and they'll just be posters and you'll see which ones I pick. But tomorrow, we do the non-horrors. I'm just gonna do a montage of that, putting those away. And then we'll do a little bit more styling as far as like framed pictures and things. So yeah, all right, day two of unpacking my DVD collection. Now I'm gonna stay on the horror train. We'll worry about non-horror movies and stuff later. I still have four boxes total of non-horrors to unpack. But I'm gonna show you some of the art that I have that I kind of wanna, I don't know if I wanna hang it just yet, cause I, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how I feel in this video. Um, but I did bring over the horror posters so I can show you all of those and see what I should do. Okay, I actually still have all of my horror posters over at the other place. These are just some of them. This is a giant Halloween kills. <laughs> <laughs> like is this a vibe to have in the background it's kind of it's kind of a vibe this is humongous i also have two of them should i give one away anyone interested in this giant halloween kills poster that would take up like all of this corner wouldn't that be cool like this framed on the wall i don't know that's that'd be nice but i think i will hang this one a barbarian print. I just need to get the right frame for this. And then let me show you the framed prints that I already have. I will link all of the artists that I remember to do so down below. Um, first up are, is the one that I've had on here forever that you probably see the bottom of in all of my videos. And that is my ring print from Hempshaw Herbarium. Um, love this. It's just like very subtle ring uh homages i guess throughout here love 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 this print so that's already framed this usually goes right in the middle there so i think i'll just add that next up for my friend alana which we actually did a horror merch collab i will link it down below um she makes a beautiful horror prints i love the saw one so much and then i also have this terrifier one that i really really love for the pop of color as well and i feel like there's a lot of yellow going on up here so this would look really cool hanging up. So I want to get another frame for the Terrifier one because I want to keep Saw frame. I love Saw, obviously, and this the greens. The gre there's also green up here, so I love this one. Um, I'm, see, I just feel like I should be hanging these. Oh my god, that would look so good right there. I have this gorgeous Texas Chainsaw print uh, of Leatherface. I love this one because it's really subtle. Like from afar, it just kind of looks like a classic piece of art, you know? But then you get up close and it's Texas Chainsaw. Don't mind how dirty the frame is. It's like really dusty, crusty, but I love this print so much. That there for now. And then we have this one from Loudmouth Threads, The Thing. I love this because again, it's more subtle. It's not like a movie poster or anything. Um, and I love the colors and like the style of this guy. So again, this would just be a vibe, a collage wall, you know? Okay, 
I'm really happy with that. I think I'm gonna wait to hang this one until I have another one on that side to like balance it out. Okay, this is what we're looking at now. I have unpacked the rest of the movies. Here are all the empty boxes. I'm feeling very accomplished with that. You can hear Fern's crinkle toy again. Don't mind her. So let's go ahead, reorganize the top. I also wanna play with lighting. So I do have a couple lighting options here. I have a sunset lamp and a regular light. So let's play around with the lighting and reorganize the top and then we're gonna be done. We're gonna be done. So I reorganized it and I forgot to hit record. So this is what we're working with on the top here. I really don't like the different, like the heights being like the same here, but I don't wanna I don't know, cover the print too much. So this is the situation. Uh, this obviously looks weird. Let me put the chair right there and then we'll get like the full effect going here. But I think it looks good. This is the natural lighting guys, by the way. <laughs> I don't have any lights on in here and no artificial, nothing. It's okay, now this is the final corner. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to frame a bunch of posters on this wall, I think, just to give me some options. <laughs> don't mind for, I need to wrap this video up because she is just so talkative. Anyway, that is the finished backdrop and my DVD collection and how it looks in the new play. <laughs> okay. We're gonna sample it here. One option of filming. Right, right, can't see any of the top. That's okay. Film like this. This is okay, right? The lighting's not bad. I feel like I'm gonna do a bounce light on that wall. You don't really care about my setup for filming, but this is pretty nice. I like this, the lighting looks good. Fern agrees, right? Yeah, you think it looks okay right here? What do you think about the lighting? Iffy. She needs a bounce light is what she says. This is the setup. I love the new space. It's so much brighter and more open and I love that I am gonna have a designated spot for filming and editing and everything because it's gonna be so helpful. I am doing a vlog over on my other channel if you are curious about the rest of the apartment. I just wanted to do this here with you um, but if you're curious about the other projects going on in the house I'll link my lifestyle channel down below. Fern has a lot to say. Uh, anything else? Closing thoughts? Uh-huh. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching me unpack this, even though I just did a collection. Um, but I hope it was enjoyable to like see the process of how I transfer all of these DVDs and what it's like moving with 400 DVDs. So hope you enjoyed watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye.